Hello viewer and welcome to my channel which typically specialises in shoe and running gear reviews. I'm a runner from the southwest of England who also plays live and records in studios. I recently purchased the Beats True Wireless Headphones and I aim to give you my opinions and views on this latest offering from Apple in terms of sound quality and a fit for use perspective. Owning some higher quality reference style headphones that I use in the studio, I was very interested by the Powerbeats Pro in terms of reviews that had recently been posted up online and in textual form. I've used the Sennheiser HD 25s for some considerable time and I found that I've really been lacking that enjoyment of music whilst running. I was hoping that the Powerbeats Pro could be a quality addition to my running gear and bring me back that enjoyment of listening to music that I've been sadly lacking recently. I've been using a host of different cheaper Bluetooth adapters and various different headphones and I completely lost that enjoyment of listening to music. Just to give you some context, before purchasing the Powerbeats Pro, my meager setup consisted of a cheap low-cost Bluetooth adapter and some old Apple earbuds which I'd received with a previous phone. I really wasn't worried about leaving those things out in the elements whilst running. As a runner, things get sweaty, things get wet. I've been out in the snow before, so this stuff just breaks down over time. So I wasn't too worried about utilizing that old gear out in the elements. The battery life of the Bluetooth adapter I've been using really wasn't great, and the earbuds just kept kind of falling out. They were wired earbuds, uh, they just kept moving around, falling out. The cable would often sort of snag on my running gear and the earbuds would move about. So really not a great situation in the slightest. I spent more time kind of rejigging the earbuds than I did listening to the music. It was an unwelcome distraction from my running. Adjustment of volume and track skipping were very much an irritation and really based on the position of the Bluetooth adapter. Sound quality really left a lot to be desired. With an audible noise floor present and real lack of bass and very poor stereo separation. I seem to be constantly charging the adapter and a number of times I didn't charge it or I forgot to charge it and the music cut out mid run which led to huge disappointment. So moving on to this solution I hope. The headphones themselves come in this clamshell style situation which also acts as the charger. Certainly the lid of the clamshell, it kind of pulls back nicely, but then it's somewhat loose. The headphones themselves slot into these grooves here and kind of magnetize in. You can hear like a sort of small audible click as the headphones click into place. Obviously the clamshell acts as a battery of sorts as well and can charge the earbuds when they're placed back inside. So you do get some additional battery life there. Apart from this slightly flexible clamshell top, the product does feel of high quality, made of decent enough plastic, feels rugged enough to survive a drop or two. Of note, I have to say that the setup of the device was very, very easy. I literally opened up the clamshell case right by my iPhone and the Powerbeats Pro instantly paired to my phone. Also a real boon, they paired directly to my Apple Watch due to me being logged into my iCloud account, which meant within a few seconds, I was listening to Jeff Lynne's ELO through the headphones. So very impressive in terms of setup. The fit of the headphones themselves, I found to be very good for me, straight out of the box. I didn't need to experiment with the additional earpieces that had been included within the box. I didn't even have to adjust the hooks around my ears. It just seemed to work for me straight away. Even with my Nike Tailwind hat 
and glasses, the headphones didn't really feel out of place. They just kind of disappeared actually for me. I was listening to music, I wasn't really aware of them being in my ears. Even at seven minutes, two seconds pace per mile, the headphones just didn't really feel like they were there. The loops here kept the headphones in place. I didn't feel any movement at all over the course of the hour run. In subsequent runs, I felt no movement whatsoever. Over a nine mile run yesterday, the headphones were absolutely fantastic. They performed very, very well. On the interval run, I couldn't really have picked a tougher test for these headphones as at points I was hitting my 5K pace. So very impressive thus far. The controls themselves are relatively intuitive. You have a button on the very side, which can be used to start and stop music, and some volume buttons on the top of each of the headphones, which can be used to turn the volume up and down. Hmm, innovative, huh? So intuitive enough, and I also wish now to explore some of the other possible functions that these headphones can bring. Though, I must state that I did predominantly buy these to listen to music, I'm not really too keen to use Siri or any of the other services that they may offer, but they are certainly intuitive and I do wish to explore some of those other features. Sound quality is something that I'm very interested in and invested in also. Having worked in the music industry for some time, I did want something that was gonna bring back that enjoyment of listening to music. And I certainly feel that I've found that with the Powerbeats Pro. Yes, running means noise, it means additional external input. There's gonna be cars flying past, dogs barking, all that kind of stuff. So we're not in a kind of neutral listening environment here. But there is enough isolation in these headphones to mean that I can fully experience that music while still at least being partly aware of what's around me. I got some of those hair standing on end moments while listening to some music while I was running. Fantastic. Good friends and buddies, please do check these headphones out. They brought back enjoyment. They brought back excitement. That emotional connection had returned to me, which I was really, really pleased about. I chose a very varied selection of music to test these headphones out. Initially, as I mentioned, listening to Jeff Lynne's ELO, and then some tracks from Irish band Fontaine's DC. All tracks sounded pleasing to me. Some quieter tracks, not so prominent, but selections with distinctive drums sounded positive and impactful. All Over the World by ELO made me very excited. It gave me those goosebumps. Television screens by Fontaine's DC sounded pure and not hugely dissimilar to listening to my vinyl copy at home. So certainly an impressive start. The volume on my Apple Watch does seem to be slightly stepped. And I did notice that I had the volume relatively high to achieve that kind of dynamic range that I desired, though this was very, very dependent on the source material. Dashboard by Modest Mouse was impactful and immediate, with Isaac Brook being a little more coherent than usual. I find it very odd when reading reviews of these headphones, certainly from somewhere like Watt Hi-Fi. They suggest that the headphones lack bass, punch, and excitement. I'm finding all of these things with these headphones. Please do, good buddies and friends, look past the fact that they have a Beats logo on the side. These headphones really are the real deal. I want a meaningful representation of the music that I love, and these deliver, and thus I give them my recommendation. That aside, the cost is high, but they do deliver in all aspects. You don't need a multitude of settings here. Literally, put the headphones in, put the music on that you love, and it will deliver. These headphones don't have the most flat response, that is true but we need a little extra bass. Some of that's gonna be lost as we're running, but they certainly deliver an exciting musical experience, which has brought back my joy to listening to music whilst running, providing excitement from the run and also from the music, the ultimate combination. I'll continue to update you on my progress and my views and opinions on the Powerbeats Pro as I continue utilizing them during my training. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it the thumbs up Make sure you subscribe in the bottom right hand corner. Comment below if you've used the Powerbeats Pro. Tell me about your views and opinions on them. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.